guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here so today is another video with a different palette it's another palette that you've chosen for me to use next so you chose Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde first so that video will go up first and then you chose Profusion Cosmetics Upbeat Orange that's got 28% Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde has got 39% and then Huda Toffee Obsessions had 22% so that will go up third um, even though I filmed that first and then Natasha Denona Gold has only got 11% so we'll use that palette last I might be a little bit late in putting my shop my stash up just purely because I want to do that clean with me video because you guys seem to really want me to do that it got 100% of the votes um, so yeah we'll be doing that really really soon on the channel I've never done that um, and I do feel I saw Sarah Rose do it I do, I do feel like it's good to refresh your makeup make it look new again and just clean it up um, the ones the like the eyeshadow palettes that have come in boxes I'll probably not even touch them because they're in boxes so they won't be dusty or anything but I'll have a look at them and I'll see if they need cleaning up if they need cleaning up we'll do it but for this video guys, um, we're going to be using this beautiful, beautiful orange palette. I'm really getting into oranges this summer. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So, there's only two shimmers in this. So I'm thinking I'm only going to do two looks with it. But we'll see. Um, obviously, I've got the Natasha Denona Gold to use as well. And that's quite a big palette. So I feel like I'm only going to do two looks with this because there's only eight eyeshadows in the Profusion Orange and then concentrate more on the Natasha Denona Gold. I think I've only got about four days to get all these looks done. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, first of all though guys, I need to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Buy and we need to use that white chocolate shade. So we use that just to set my base as normal. I put the Too Faced White Chocolate eyeshadow down and the battery went so I've just changed it. Um, right, so I think we've definitely got to use this shade down here. That one's called Days. And I think we're going to work on this top row. So maybe use all three of those mattes there. Um, so let's go in with Mania first, that one there. And I'm just using this brush that came in. I think this one is actually from a W7 palette. It looks like the same from the ABH, but the writing's not on there, so I think it's from there. Um, let's get in my mirror. Let's bring you in closer. And let's do this. I'm just tapping it on to begin with. And then we'll blend it out. I've got a feeling it's going to blend away to nothing though. Because I've gone in now three times with a shade. And it's not overly opaque. It's just more like a transition shade. So now we'll blend it out a bit. Because we're going to put darker shades on it. I'm just going to go into the outer V though with it. Do the same on the other eye. Okay, that's really good. Let's go in with Unwind now. Yeah, that's far darker. And we'll put that through the crease just to deepen it up. Excuse me. 
sorry guys that was just a big sis um, wanting a bit of a chat I thought it was my mum my eyes are getting really bad so we went in with unwind I've kind of already started off on this eye I don't know if that's the amount of pigmentation that I want let's have a look yeah that's enough blend that out I think I'll go in with that lighter shade just to blend it out a little bit more but for now we'll leave it as it is go back into unwind for the left eye stamp that on and then we'll blend it out in a minute so I made a mistake I've just put up my friend Mel video from Beauty Dreams by Naomi and I thought I'd taken the Jeffree Star one down to be rescheduled another time but I didn't I left it up so you're getting two of me today you're getting double trouble hope you enjoy it and you don't just think another one right so let's run that through the colour switch and then we'll go in with that lightest orange again which is called Mania just to blend it out who's got this palette and what do you think about it I know someone who's got it because I sent it to you have you used it yet Lisa um, let me know if you have I don't know if I saw you use it in a collaboration with Nona when you used to do that orange eyeshadow collab or whether that's just my imagination okay so that's good let's go in with Too Faced white chocolate again for the brow bone looking good right so shall we no we've got to use this one so we've got to use psych this one down here and i'm going to start off with this um side of the brush just let's run that through the color switch it's getting to the point now guys where i really need to wash my brushes oh that's a vibrant orange let's blend it out with this side I actually think I might put some of that in the crease as well yeah let's do it like halfway okay now is the time to try this beautiful shade here i did a swatch earlier it didn't look that pigmented they are quite powdery i don't know if you're gonna see that on camera but i'm just gonna pop it on with a finger i mean it is beautiful I could really just do one look with this palette but we're gonna we're gonna use the other mattes tomorrow the darker ones down here and we're gonna use this um so today I'm gonna need an inner corner highlight I've just seen the Fenty palette on the bed which I normally use for the mirror um just this one here it's number five peach i wonder if there's anything in here i mean there's that I, I just think it's too that one there i just think it's too dark so i'll have a look in my other profusion palette see if we can just stay with profusion for today right so i wouldn't say this is the most pigmented orange you're gonna get but it's nice 
I think the mats are nicer. Yeah, I like it. I think my problem is I like foiled eyeshadow, foiled metallic eyeshadows. And if it's not that, I'm just kind of like, mm, it's okay, um, which it is. I mean, how much did I pay for this? I only paid £2.99 for it, guys. I mean, come on. It says original price is £5. I know when I bought Lisa's from the Profusion website, I know I spent more than that on it. And so when I say Lisa, I mean Banning, Panning and Beyond. Um, again, if you've not checked her out, please go and do so. I would love it. Um, so, right. Let's go in. Oops. Let's go in with this side of the brush. Spritz it. I'm going to use the PS Energy Hydrating Spray just because that's the only one I've got to hand. I'm actually going to need a new setting spray soon. And let's see how this looks. On the brush it's so pigmented but very powdery so it should give us a bit more pigment. Yeah, it's definitely becoming more foiled. Right, because I'm putting quite a bit on, it's getting chunky, so we'll leave it there. So when you spritz your brush, and you kind of scrape your brush into the eyeshadow, or you tap your brush into the eyeshadow, you get more powder. You get more, like, chunkiness. But I think that, that'll do. Right, let's take this off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that vibrant orange there, Psych, and we're going to put that on the lash line. Like that. Yeah, like that. I don't know. If I'm too pale to wear orange and I think that might be why I don't like it as much. What do you think guys? Am I too pale? I mean some people would say oh it really goes nicely with your hair colour and your colouring. But I don't know if I am too pale to wear it. So fallout here. There's none on the left side. So I'm just going to try and wipe that away. I've definitely gone heavier on the right side. Um, mascara. So, mascara of the day is definitely going to be Essence of False Lashes. I've got a bit of mascara on the left eye, we'll sort that out in a minute. Let me just grab a drink first. I've just made this guys, I'm really into iced coffee at the moment and I'm, um, and I'm making my own because the one that I got, I get a carton normally from Heron, if you live in the UK you'll know what that is, if you live outside of the UK it's just a small supermarket that sells inexpensive kind of food, it's not, so as I was saying it's not that expensive to shop there, um, but now obviously food's gone up so anyway I'm digressing so normally I get a carton of iced coffee and it's really really nice but you can make it yourself so make it and then run it through the blender and that's what gives it this like really nice froth here but what I do need to buy is kind of some syrup for it because it's a little bit bland shall we say so I wouldn't mind going to Starbucks and buying some of their vanilla syrup or um, caramel syrup that they sell other than that it's quite good 
Um, right, okay, so in a corner highlight, guys, I'm just going to go and get something. Right, I want to use something that I've not used in a hot minute, guys. And it's the Profusion Mixed Metals Glam Palette. It is stunning. It's by far the best Profusion palette I've ever tried. Eventually, I want to do least favourite to favourite on Profusion palettes. I don't know how many I've got, though. Um, but this is it, guys. This orange here, I can't even describe it. I mean, I'd love to just put it over that orange that we've got on the lid. But look at that. Look at it. See, we're testing out the upbeat orange. I can't. Next time I use these two palettes in conjunction with each other, I am definitely going to use this instead of the instead of the darkest shimmer here days. So the differences between the two shimmer formula, this one is powdery. Um I recommend this palette guys on first impressions for the mattes, the mattes are really nice I don't know about the actual shimmers, there's only one more to try anyway but I thought today I could use Zenith here and that one is really really nice as well it's just like a yellow gold, I thought it would go really really nice with the overall look um, it's a little bit dark, I'll, I'll give you that, but it might work okay let's go in with it if you don't have this palette and you like this kind of color story it's warm and it's cool at the same time and you see it in your local tk maxx tj maxx even on the profusion website and you're placing an order i would say grab it guys they do a few versions of it i think they did a 20th anniversary one and i was gonna get it but i decided to leave it i'm a little bit kind of sad that i didn't pick it up now but yeah they do this one to me is probably the best one that has come out i got this from boots i think in the uk grab a shrink so yeah i got it from boots in the uk and and it's something that i don't regret i don't know how much i paid for it but yeah let's just put this on and stop chit chatting You can just see how metallic it is. I would say it's too dark for sure, but there isn't anything lighter in here. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than I would normally go for. It looks nice though. We'll leave it there. Because like I said, it's mainly testing the upbeat orange, but I needed something for the inner corner. On hindsight, I should have chosen something a bit lighter. I was gonna choose I was gonna choose something from the emerald greens, but it's got too much of a green sorry, it's got too much of a green flip, this one here. Um I think I need the orange one, the topaz one, so next time so next time i place an order or if i see it in tk maxx i'll grab it just because i'm wearing orange a lot more now um so let's just blend it out and then we can grab a lipstick and this video will be complete lipstick combination guys is gonna be the nyx lip liner and the shade pumpkin and Jeffree Star in the shade Yummy. I just feel I feel like they're a good combination. What I do, because this is on the verge of it needing to be thrown out, I put this on like I line my entire lips with it and then I'll go in with a bit of this. So it needs sharpening. And that's what it looks like. You could definitely get away with just wearing that. Well, they're quite matte, so, and that's the look that I like. I, I really like a matte lipstick. And um, it is practically, oops, it is practically identical to the shade. So I feel like once I've run out of Yummy, 
I feel like I need to get a couple of these lip liners back up so I just hope they still do them because NYX are forever changing the line aren't they so let's go in with some of this can you see how it's really really similar I've not put any on my top lip yet so let's do that now it's gone and really really creamy and more should I say more thicker in consistency this Jeffree Star lipstick I revived it with some drops that I've got and um, it seems to have worked I use the Kema Cosmetics mixing medium and that was gifted to me kindly by Banning Panning and Beyond and it's, it's worked a treat um, I just don't know if it's worked with I'm slightly going off subject but let me see so I also did it with this beautiful beautiful Natasha Denona Chromium in the shade Scarab even though I've got Scarab in my Triochrome palette I like this I like this liquid version of it where am I going to put you it's just sheer it's here it's really sheer I don't think it's worked um, so I'm going to keep it because it feels quite watery still I'm going to keep it in my drawer for another week or two and if it's not worked I'm just going to declutter it but anyway guys this is the overall look let's take the hair down actually so anyway guys this is the overall look I really really like the way it's turned out just like I like the way the Jeffree Star orange look turned out so maybe I'm being converted to orange I've always liked orange red lips um, but I've never really liked orange eyeshadow too much on me but I feel like it does make blue eyes pop um, so yeah I really like the way it looks regarding the palette though guys my only gripe is with this shade here at the moment it's called Days let's have a look at shimmy yeah, shimmy's really powdery too um, I've got nowhere to put it put it next to that orange so that's shimmy that's really powdery too it's not like profusion's normal formula um, it's nowhere near as good as this um, but this is metallic and I feel like I shouldn't really compare them so, so like I said to you Right, so where were we? I was just saying I do like the overall look. Um, with the palette though, on first impressions, which I can only give you first impressions, I've not used half of the shades really. Um, this shade here, I would say, going on the eyeshadows that I've used, is probably the worst one. Because I don't like that whole powdery shimmer formula. I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look powdery on the lids, I don't think. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't look powdery on the lids but when you like go in with your finger it looks really really powdery and when you put it on with a brush it looks even more powdery and the powder falls down your face. Um, I don't like that about it but the mattes are really really smooth. They're so smooth and I don't think they look patchy. I just don't know where I'm going to put this. Let's put it out there yeah that goes on it's so so smooth um so the mattes are really really good and it's what i'll keep this palette for because i don't have too many orange mattes um and also you can use these as blushes i've got a bit of blush on i've got a bit of patrick tar on but I'm, i want to do an orange blush for you guys um so let me get a blush brush it's not the way I was going to go with this video, but I want to see if it works. I mean, obviously it's going to work, but I'm just going to... I used this brush for a blusher. Um, this one is... I don't know, it doesn't say. It's odd. Which one shall we put on? Shall we do a mix of Unwind and Psych? So we'll dip into Psych first because it's darker and then Unwind. So, hope this doesn't go horribly wrong let's ooh ooh it 
probably needs it's probably gonna need a bit of a blend out but right, let's blend it out Ignore the noise, it's my table behind me guys. Right, so I'm definitely keeping it because I like the fact that if I don't like to use it as orange eyeshadow, I'm going crazy for orange blush at the moment. And I was looking for matte blushes on eBay. They have one called Butterfly Benefit now um, and they did like a travel size of it. But what the seller was asking for, it was just too much. So I didn't get it. And these are just ideal. Like these two shades especially are ideal for my skin tone. And this one as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a good it's a good combination. Like you can get that monochromatic look with it. So I do really, really like it for the mattes. The shimmers, like I said earlier, they're just a little bit too powdery for me. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you like look one or two better. Let me know also if you've got this palette and what your thoughts are on it. I would really be interested to know in the comments down below. And I will see you tomorrow for day two look two. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Thank you for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it. So today is just going to be the last look with the upbeat orange palette it's beautiful like i said in yesterday's video it really is beautiful i feel like the shimmers are just a little bit powdery and chunky which isn't ideal for me um but the mattes are a dream guys i really really like how they blend out now i put the first look that i did yesterday on my youtube shorts what i'm planning on doing going forward if you want a sneak peek of the looks i'm doing you can find them on youtube shorts obviously i'm not going into depth um but you can see kind of what I'm doing what steps I took and um, what makeup I'm wearing for that day. I'm not going to do it every day but just when I'm changing palettes over so I'll do it again when I start using my Natasha Denona Gold. That's the last palette in the Shop My Stash and then we can start again in the next Shop My Stash rotation. And why I'm doing this is they're doing really well the makeup of the day. That's what I'm calling the series over on my shorts. So let me just, let me just um, tell you. As of an hour of it going up, it hit 1k views and that's massive for me. Normally my videos only get like 50 views at the most and that's like for the entirety of them being on YouTube. As a smaller YouTube, it's just hard to get my videos. But with short videos, you reach a wider audience and I also share them to my Twitter account. But on my Twitter guys, I only share things that I'm not really that active. So it's, I mean, you can go and follow me if you want. Uh, my user handle there. Um, so my username on Twitter is at beauty with Andrea and where is spelled W-I-V um, But yeah, um, I'm over on Twitter if you wanted to go and check that out If not, no problems. I know a lot of you follow me on Instagram, which I truly truly do appreciate um, But yeah, the moral of me talking to you about this guys is short videos really do work I want to do a video on this and I want to show you my stats and just how well they do work for smaller creators so if you're a smaller creator like me, I would highly, highly recommend that you start doing short videos to help grow your channel. Kicking myself now that I didn't do it sooner. Let's um, not digress any further. What is that brush I was using yesterday? Oh, it's here. So today I think I'm going to clean my brushes. They definitely need doing. I'm going to just bring you in close. Right. First of all, I'm going to go in with Beat. And I think then I'll need to blend it out with Mania, what we used yesterday. So let's go in with B. I've got this as my blush um, and I really really like it yeah this one's really pigmented just tap 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 in let's get it in the outer V as well Right, so that's enough colour for that kind of transition shade. So let's do it on the left eye. So 
So if you watch me and you do short videos, let me know because I might have missed them. Um, and I'll, I'll go and watch them. I don't know too many people that do them. I know Colleen from Uniquely Individual and Me does them. I've seen a few of Courtney Shanice Reviews do them. But I've not really seen anyone else do them. Um, and I just feel like they're important. And they're fun as well. You don't have to do too much editing. All I do really is film. There's no editing needed. Apart from sometimes I'll kind of like fast forward the track song to where I want it. Um, I'll look for a good song to put onto the video and then And we'll just blend it out actually we'll go in with mania and blend it out first that way so i'm just using the fluffy side i really enjoyed this brush yesterday so i think for the most part if not all of the part of this video i think i'll just be using this one brush yeah that's blended it out nicely And before I put that eyeshadow down, I put the white chocolate shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar on. Which we're going to do now as well for the brow bone. Right, let's go in with this darker orange rhythm. This one down here again through the outer v and then a little bit through the crease so that's what it looks like actually we're just going to put it through the entire of the crease so i hope you're all doing really really well Now that I know that scars there on my left eye, every time I look in the mirror I see it and it seems to be like more prominent. It's just so random. I mean I could understand if I had an accident, but to my knowledge I haven't. Right and then last but not least we're going to go in with Harvest which is more of a brown like it's brown but it's got a bit of orange in it and that will also um, go on the lash line as well so I'm just kind of dabbing it into the outer corner here I'm starving my mum's making me a nice tea tonight though so I don't want to spoil my appetite and eat anything Right, and then I think we need to blend all of that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Mania because it's the lightest shade in the palette. Just make sure there's kind of no harsh edges. I 
Okay, I'm going to try putting the shimmer on first with this brush. So we're going to go in with shimmer. Which looks like it's a yellow gold. Right, so it's not really pigmented. But hopefully we can build some of that up with setting spray. Do the left eye. I mean, it doesn't feel as powdery as like when you're dipping in with your finger. I will give them that. But you can tell the powdery just by looking at the brush there. Right, and then let's go in. I think we'll just go in with this. I was debating whether to use a rhythm and harvest all together, but we're just going to go in with harvest to mirror that out of a. Right, so now then, where's the setting spray? So I'm just going to go in with some of this Glow Intensity setting spray. Um, and we're going to see if we can make it a little bit more pigmented. Yeah, it's definitely becoming more foiled. Trying to give it that cut crease look. Okay, let's go in with Essence False Lashes. So that looks good. Right, so I'm going to go in with this combination today. Let's use a Primark lip liner first. Red is so thinicky to apply, isn't it? So we're going to go in now with Sleek's Matte Me in Rioja Red. And I'm sorry you only see me in red lipstick these days, guys, but I just feel like with this look, I need a red. Right, let that dry. I don't know if to do something, but it might make it... No, I'm not going to do it. I was going to put another colour down and kind of like wing it out here even further. It might not look right. And that bottom lip doesn't look right either. Okay, I think that's done it now. Right, so I'm going to go back in with shimmy, but with my ring finger. We need some inner corner highlights, so let me get something for that. Okay, let's try this pixie one. I recently hit pan on the pink side here. I don't think I'm going to use that, but they have like a gold side. I feel like it's going to be a smidge too dark, but let's see. I think I'm going to use this applicator. So I'm just going to go in with that side. Yeah, I think it's a bit too dark. I think we're going to have to go in with something a bit lighter. It looks 
to like the eyeshadow on the lid yeah I'm not happy with that okay I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this one as well just this side to make it a bit brighter I've not used this duo for used this wet and wild duo for ages I need to pull that out soon yeah that's better probably could have pulled my benefit cookie out to do this but never mind right guys so that's the overall look I actually really really like it so let's talk about the palette briefly so beautiful beautiful palette perfect for excuse me sorry about that guys so as I was saying this palette is beautiful for this time of year so spring summer I would say more summer actually it's beautiful for summertime and yeah it's definitely giving me summer vibes um I do recommend it I didn't think I would but I do recommend it yesterday I went in with my finger with that one first and it did like break off a lot of chunkiness on my finger that's why I thought it was so powdery and chunky but today when I went in with that small brush I had it didn't feel as chunky and there was no fallout I didn't fall or anything like it did the previous day um, so I would say initially going with a brush you're not going to get much pigment guys because I didn't get much pigment off this but when you spritz your brush you get it more filed then you can go in with your finger at the end if you want it a little bit more filed which is what I always do anyway um, but the actual mattes of the palette like I've been saying the last couple of days are really really nice for 2 99 guys I got a great deal on this palette and it won't be going anywhere I won't declutter it I think it's the only orange palette in my collection it's definitely the only all orange eyeshadow palette in my collection and I can see myself buying more orange eyeshadow in the future so yeah I can see myself using orange a lot more I do have another one actually it's a Huda neon orange but I don't think that's all orange eyeshadow whereas obviously this one is so this is day two look two with the profusion upbeat orange palette um really really appreciate you watching thank you so so much and i will